Hi, this session is related to the BGP route servers and looking glass. This section is not related to the theory or configuration of the BGP protocol. It's basically related to the practical life of BGP, how BGP is being used in the ISP and uh, service provider environment, the troubleshooting stuffs. It's focusing on stuffs like uh, BGP looking glass, route servers, and why actually we need them. So for example, like uh, how your prefix that you're advertising from your network is being seen in other parts of the internet. So these slides are actually good for you if in case you are targeting or focusing to work in ISP environment or you want to build your knowledge towards troubleshooting of BGP protocol. Let's say you have advertised a new prefix from your, uh, from your network onto the internet and you want to see if your pairing partners can receive it or the other parts of the net or the other parts of the internet can you see those prefixes being advertised or let's say uh, your network cannot be routed to a destination in some remote part of the world in some other remote sp and uh, and you want to know if your prefixes are being received properly over there or not. So let's assume a topology, a, summary to, a small network, like uh, you have like on internet, let's say three ISPs, uh, you have uh, um, your prefix like 64.5.6.0, uh, which you are advertising from your AS100, to another AS, AS200, which is again advertising it to AS300. Now, let's say for example, uh, there is no looking glass or route servers. So if in case your prefix is not being received by AS300, so you might be end up like calling AS200 and AS300 and trying to know whether they receive it or not. But it's not practical because there is no one sitting out there in these service provider network and uh, just waiting for your call and trying to help you out. So we have some better options like um, like most of these carriers, service providers, they are offering um, looking glass and route server or both of them. So what is this BGP looking glass? So BGP looking glass is a software that is just installed on top of a server. So it's what we are able to access is a web page. That's the front end. And that front end has some connectivity to the back end route servers. And uh, it could be a real uh, router or some software at back end, which is providing you some limited access. We are going to have a look at one of those so that uh, you you are going to understand that what we are actually talking about so so here is like um, i just googled and found a website uh, which is like a bgp looking class database so they have like lots of uh, uh, lots of looking glass like uh, all these service providers they have their own looking glass over here so we can open like any of these or let's say we go for some famous tier one service provider let me do like control f let me search level yeah level three looking glass that's good so i have been using very often this one uh, so what we are going to do is like we have many options like you can do trace route or ping or bgp Let's say uh, we want to have a look uh, at their BGP table and see if some of our particular prefix is there. So I'm going to select their hop in Toronto. Yeah. And uh, let's get some IP address. I have been using like these IPs before. Let's see. Let's take this one. 
and I will make like a slash 24 for example okay here I see that this prefix is being um, received by them from some AS577 so this is how it's being used for troubleshooting purpose uh, we can try some other prefix as well let's say let's say some some Google IP address 8.8.8 .8 .8. I think slash 24 is too big for it but let's take like slash 8 maybe so here it says like it has slash 24 as well it gives like uh, how, how it's learning over here but obviously I'm not troubleshooting this IP address I was just giving an example so this is how the looking glass looks like there are many others as well so so simple like these as well so maybe like they, they are only offering trace route so I can put some IP address like this one and trace route and trace route failed <laughs> I don't know what is this site okay so let's go back and to the next slide so other options we have is like BGP route servers BGP route server are like more like a router CLI so these are like publicly accessible often via telnet or via ssh and uh, what we can do is like we can run ping trace routes and do some show commands like show ip route show ip bgp and uh, what these are basically dummy devices they are not usually they are not like a, a practical router or a real router uh, they are just simply bgp speaking devices so let's go to let's google some route servers and see if we can find some good one over here uh, okay yeah so route server.org this website is uh, giving us links for lots of route servers we are going to pick someone maybe okay let's go to mexico this time yeah okay hmm so what it opens is um a party over here and what is this it's it's it looks like a router but basically it's not so if I do show version it says that this device is quagga so quagga uh, quagga is just a software uh, it's an open open so open source software which is providing like BGP implementation uh, it's open source. It provides BGP implementation for Unix-like platforms, Unix, Linux, Solaris. So I think most probably because it's free, so that's why uh, people are using it. If I do show IP route, it doesn't support. Let me see what command it supports. Um, yeah, I did show question mark. They do support show IP BGP. Let's try show IP BGP and and I will use the same IP address as before and let's have a look oh yeah they obviously they do learn it uh, same AS577 which I believe is Bell Canada then AS3356 I think this is uh, uh, level 3 and uh, okay so this is how to use route server some good options I would give you is like just go to others some of them might not work if they are not updating their website properly but like uh, most of them should be working like this one is from Dallas and this one is also working so you can we can like try something over here so it's it's uh, good for 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 the scenarios where are uh, where you are trying to advertise some prefixes on internet and you want to see how it's being learned at other parts of the world now this is all for this section um, let me know uh, how you like it and if you like some other videos thank you